In some poses, you can start to feel relief within five or 10 minutes. Well, there's a meditation aspect to most yoga classes, and so having exercises that just help to center and ground, getting in touch with their breath, getting people aware of their fears and anxieties, and if they are feeling scared, and using the breath, you know, letting that go. So the more awareness you have over any negative emotions, the more you can use those kinds of tools to help release them and become more detached about them. To have a more sustained feeling of relief, having a regular practice that's just a little bit every day, like 15 or 20 minutes, is a lot better than just having one two-hour class once a week. And so I like to give a lot of takeaways for how they can sustain the peace and tranquility they've gained from the class and continue it on a daily basis. One of my favorites is uh, for insomnia and fatigue, and feeling kind of edgy, is legs up the wall. So you're just laying down on the floor or in your bed and you just put your legs up on the wall and resting. There's no muscular effort involved and that's a great pose to do at the end of the day, not the beginning, because it's so incredibly calming and centering. And there's also breathing that you can do, like putting your hand over your belly, breathing into your hand, letting it go, breathing in. So practicing those kind of moves in class and they can do those anywhere. They can do those in the car, at the office, um, at home in bed. Having just to practice like an hour and a half where you're just focused on your breath and just on your reactions to what's going on inside of your own body and taking those moments just to honor yourself can be an incredible luxury and very therapeutic and healing on a kinesthetic level and on an emotional level as well.